Hello folks, I'm delighted today to be joined by Dr John McCune, Head of GP Teaching, and Dr Naomi Dow, who is GP and Senior Clinical Lecturer, both from University of Aberdeen. They're going to be speaking to us today about how they've used Near Me to facilitate student learning. I'm going to ask them about how that's the impact that's been on them as lecturers in terms of the capacity for students, but also the impact on the students in terms of their capability. Can you just briefly describe how you've been using Near Me with your students? Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having us say, Mark. So we began using uh, Near Me as a teaching tool last year um, for our year three medical students. And we have used it as a, a kind of, um, I guess, a stepping stone for the students um, from practicing consultations with patient partners um, into consulting real patients in 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 real life and the near me has been a, a great tool for us to do this by using video consultations and um, live streaming them um, into the classroom and allowing students to actually sit in the driving seat and uh, take part in these consultations themselves so yes yeah, so john just tell us you know what's the impact been on you in terms of a teaching team and the capacity I think like a lot of universities in Scotland and presumably across the UK and potentially, you know, globally, we're facing um, a workforce crisis in the NHS and part of a solution to that has been support from the government for increasing student numbers. Um, that's fine in principle, but what we're now looking for is teaching capacity, really, you know, whether it's teaching spaces or tutors to teach. And what NIMI's allowed us to do is to find an innovative, innovative way of looking at capacity without necessarily having to find a room space for it or multiple numbers of tutors. Um, and the key thing for us was when we looked into the session, the students gained significant value from it um, in terms of teaching analogous to face-to-face -face teaching. Really. And I know we spoke before, some of the students come with some really nice quotes about the impact had on them in terms of a, a novel new way of teaching and how they viewed it. Um, can you share with us some of that? Yeah, one of the comments from the students, and I hope I get this right and not do it a disservice, really. Um, the students identified that the session was very much transformational. They, they went through a range of emotions in the session, dealt with lots of different concepts of uncertainty, and they felt the session was authentic. And one of the students described it as a transformational step where previous his teaching had been like um, riding a bike with a kind of training wheels on. Um, a member student felt that this session was very much like being supported by a tutor, ready to go to the next step. And many felt that next year he'd be able to kind of push off on his own and cycle without a training wheels or a tutor support really. So he saw it as a really stepping stone from being very much supported to guiding him to independent practice, really, which was exactly what we were looking for from the session. That's great to hear. And, and again, how does this model compare to maybe previous models you've used or, or currently used, like for scenarios or, or things that have been pre-recorded? I think this uh, using Near Me has got a number of advantages. So the first is that it's using real patients and real consultations. These are not scripted. The the, the patients are are obviously consented beforehand, but their their consultation is is authentic. It is the students doing the consultation. This isn't a repeat after the GP having done it. Um, so from that aspect, I think it's it's very very different for the students. This is um, it's a surprise what comes up in the consultation, and there certainly have been some surprises in in the in the sessions that we've used so far. Um, and so moving away from the kind of patient partner, the kind of simulated patient model into the the real um, real life um, general practice has been has been really valuable for the students. As John mentioned as well, in terms of capacity, using Near Me has got advantages in terms of um, how many students we can have in a teaching session whilst still providing a, a really valuable experience for them. So we've been managing to have larger groups of students in, in the, the consultations than we would ever manage um, physically in a practice in, in the consulting room. We've found near me really very straightforward to use. Um, I think as as clinicians, we've all got experience of using near me within our within our clinical work, and there's really just some minor adaptations to use it as a as a teaching tool. Um, we've received good guidance from yourselves as well as from the university data protection team to ensure that we're um, using it in the correct manner. And um, certainly, our experience is that the the tutors, both on campus as well as the the GP tutors in practice, have have found it very simple um, and straightforward to use. I think I'd probably add to that, but the students are able to clearly identify the difference between 
simulated scripted scripted teaching and this really authentic experience of actually dealing with real patients in real practice, consulting with real problems. Um, and when we evaluated afterwards, it was really striking how much the students felt that this was a realistic, you know, challenging scenario and their emotional response to it was as if they were there with the students. So I guess we would have had initial concerns talking about remote consultations as to whether it was going to feel genuine to the students, but the outcome, the outcomes really, really did support the fact that students had a genuine clinical encounter with a patient that day. Thanks very much, John and Naomi, for sharing that with us this afternoon. Um, if you want more information regarding Near Me and how to set it up to use with students, there's a link to some resources below, and we'll look forward to seeing you again at another one of our videos. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>